now, Georgie Boy, fallen queen of Broadway. Say there, this is Georgie Boy. I used to be a star on Broadway, but now nobody wants to talk to a tired old queen. Still, the artist, Mr. Jellyfish, and crew that built my dilapidated diorama seem to find it humorous that I reside in a seedy downtown motel with my pet Pomeranian dog, Smoochie Pooch. What the fuck do you want? Well... As I was saying, the faux brick exterior and 28-foot-tall Art Deco sign suggest a bygone era of youth and style, a time before my dazzling acting career went awry. The cutaway viewing area allows you to see inside my shabby abode, replete with all of my pretty things that I use to decorate my penthouse in New York City. You'll see me lounging on my fainting couch in the finest silk pajamas, comedy tragedy masks on the wall, a barbershop quartet of motel rats, lovely flowers, and a few surprise guests, all of whom come to life through participant interaction. You see, in front of the viewing area is a garish pulpit that features a large red button labeled SPIN. When a participant pushes the button, it rotates my four-foot wheel of fame that lands on and lights up one of the letters of my name on the large sign above. It also selects a brief theatrical vignette for the characters and I to perform, from amusing categories such as arguments, laments, dream sequences, flashbacks, and crying jags. Once participants are successful in restoring my name back in lights where it belongs, they are treated to one of our delightful show tunes. What more could one want from an evening's entertainment, especially when Smoochy Pooch joins in? Shut the fuck up, you show queen prick! Silence, you ludicrous layabout! Anyway, I've overheard the artist and crew mumbling words like robotics, animatronics, and pneumatics, but it's all geek to me. <laughs> yeah, you'd think they could repair the fucking motel ice machine. Some accuse me of obsessing over my midlife crisis and foregone youth and fame as though they were rites of passage themselves, yet many participants feel themselves drawn to my tragic comedy macabre. Be a lamb, won't you? Come interact with me tonight at the center of the three o'clock plaza. And now, a few words from the artist, Mr. Jellyfish. The inspiration for the main character of the art installation, Georgie Boy, Fallen Queen of Broadway, came about five years ago when my brother, Mac Daddy, and I used to drive up and hide on a hill above a truck stop to torture the truck drivers below on the CB radio. And uh, we would come up with characters and dialogue that really got their dander up, and the best was Georgie Boy with his flirtatious invitations to a fictitious penthouse where truckers could change their sexual orientation, uh, they really wanted to kill us, and probably still do. The 30-member crew and I are based in Sparks, Nevada, and the project has received grant funding from Burning Man, the Reno Burners LLC, the Nevada Arts Council, and generous donations from the Burning Man community. Be well and do strange things. 